Zinab Moseni and her family lived in the unit above where the fire started early Thursday morning. Look at the outside from window and I see some smokes from underground and it was really scary. Soon, the flames erupted. Moseni and her husband fled with their children, banging on the doors of neighbors. And I started to is loudly, get out, get out, run, it's a fire, fire. Many of the residents here say false alarms are frequent, like Landon Phillips, who didn't think there actually was a fire. I actually, thankfully, I, I heard people panicking. I looked outside the window and I saw the flames bursting up. He knew he had to get out but not before making a call. Guy is our guardian angel right here. He phoned us and got us awake and got us out before the smoke took us over. By the time firefighters arrived, four units were already engulfed in flames. This couple lived near those units and had slept through the alarm. Trying to hurry up because we had four inches of smoke in our apartments and we were just trying to rough things up in a bag and get out of there as fast as we can. Clear thinking by their neighbor amid the chaos. If it wasn't for him, we, we wouldn't have woke up. And if we did woke, woke up without all that smoke, forget it. Yeah. I probably, probably, probably would have made it out. So thank you, Landon. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, saved my life. All the residents of this building have been forced to leave. Supported by the City of Coquitlam and Emergency Support Services. They've been provided clothing, food, daily essentials, and temporary shelter at hotels around Greater Vancouver. Their accommodations are covered for six days. But after that... The future is unclear. City staff and engineers need to determine if it's safe to move back in. Some of us have lost everything, you know, it's, uh, it's not good. And with housing prices the way they are, it's, I mean, it's no joke. Some of us are like capitally screwed. Where are we going to go? Moseni's unit has been completely destroyed. In her son's bedroom, the floor collapsed. The trauma, still fresh. And we are so worried because I don't think that we can afford to be with this expensive rent to find any place. The city says firewalls were able to protect many of the units and it's hopeful most residents will be able to return. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Coquitlam.